another flexi video here this one is in regards to cutting items and keeping them in position <coughs> um, it's just important to understand that if they're moving position as far as their relativity to the edges it is not flexi that's doing it it flexi this part of flexi the design part it's actually the the production manager so let's create something here that is multiple colors to kind of explain that. Let's make us a, a smiley face. Nice bright yellow smiley face. And maybe he's got a black border around him. Make it black. Make sure it's outlined and because I'm assuming this is to be done with cut vinyl I'm going to do it with backing. Okay. And he's got two blue eyes. So we'll make one here. And then I will copy that one to give him another one there. <clears throat> I'm going to group those. I'm going to center them between in the middle of this object here. Okay, this should be good. Let's see, now he needs a nose. Let's see, let's give him a triangle nose. And uh, yeah, I, I like it that shape. Okay, we'll give him a red nose and we'll give him a mouth, just a flat mouth, just to make it quick and easy. Oh heck, I'll tell you, let's, let's give him a smiley mouth. And I would do that by creating an oval. <clears throat> then overlap it with another one. This is just one way. Let's see. Let's make this one green so we can identify it easy. I've got the two selected. I'm going to remove the overlap. I'm going to delete this and that. And there's in my mouth which will make green. Now let's, let's keep it simple, blue. Okay, so we've got, I'm gonna make this blue also. We have three colors here. One, two, three. Okay, I wanna make his eyes a different color. I want those red. Okay, so we've got four colors. We have black, we have yellow, we have blue, and we have red. If I send this to the cutter, <coughs> excuse me, let's assume Let's make a piece here to, to represent our actual vinyl. Uh, I'm not going to try to make anything to scale. This is just to represent what we're doing here. Okay, so this is going to be our actual, let's pretend this is our vinyl. Make it green so we can see it and put it to the bottom. When I send this to cut, remember the green isn't there. Pretend the green's not there. That's just representing our vinyl. When I send this to cut, it's going to I'm going to have four colors come up in my production manager and I can cut each one. But let's say it cuts the black and the bottom of the black in relation to the bottom of the vinyl, the edge of the vinyl, is this distance away, whatever that may be. All right. Now, that means if you're thinking, all right, so on my next piece, if my vinyl's all cut the same shape and I send my blue, it's going to be the distance from here to here and the red will be from here to here but that's not what happens flexi will try to use the vinyl in an efficient manner when it goes to the production manager so your black may end up at that point let's say that's uh, the relative end okay that's, that's just where your cut starts let's say I'll put a line there so that you can see so the black's going to be there but the then the yellow, when you send it, it's also going to be down at that. Oops, at that point. Let me ungroup those and see if this is what you're seeing. That's going to be down like that, and your blues 
and there go my dogs. They're going to be down here. And your reds, they're going to be down there. And if you're expecting each one to be all in the same place on the vinyl in relationship to the edge of the vinyl, that's not going to happen. The only way that they are going to stay relative to that position is by using registration marks. Now for vinyl installation, I don't use registration marks. I've done it enough. I don't need to do it. I just, I don't need them. Don't need them. Don't use them. Don't like them. Um, but you know if you want to you could drop a registration mark on there if your production manager doesn't see it enough to cut it make your own registration marks just put a square there and maybe put a circle down in the other corner and if you really want to make sure everything's going to be cut right let's get rid of this you can make copies and set each copy up. So we know we have one, two, three, four colors. Let's make four copies of everything, including this regist these registration marks we made. When I use Flexi for my color separations in screen printing, I usually do this so that I can visually confirm that all parts are there and there's, you know, that I haven't missed anything. So I want to cut, let's make this the yellow. So I want to make sure my registration marks are the same color as what it is I'm cutting and delete everything else. So I don't, I'm not going to need those, not going to need that, not going to need that, not going to need that. So there's one cut. Let's make this the red. Let me grab everything up here, make those red and delete everything that's not red. Same thing for the blue. Already blue, so we can just, you know, grab everything else and delete it. Okay, that leaves us with the black. So I want to make sure these are black. And delete everything but the black. So now I know when I send this this is going to be in the same relation to these as these are to these and as this is to these and this is to these the only downside to that is you're wasting material look at all this material that's getting wasted here you know on something you know that's three inches well it's no big loss but on something that's three feet you start burning through a lot of material so it's if your stuff is moving in relation to the edge of your media it's just because Flexi is trying to save you a little bit of money. Um, I hope that explains what you need to know. Once again for vinyl I don't use registration marks. If I want to cut multiple copies of something I usually lay them all up in my production manager or I mean excuse me in, within the the art file itself and cut them from there. If I and, and just real quick also one quick reminder is I don't have the production manager installed on this machine so I cannot show you anything about that but the other thing I want to remind you is if nothing is selected and you click your cutter button your cut send it to your cutter it's gonna send everything on the page if you have something selected and you hit that cut button now it's only gonna send what is selected so I don't know if this helps you or not. I hope it does. If it confuses you, if I didn't answer your question, shoot me a message. I'll make another uh, another video. Uh, enjoy. Have fun with Flexi. I know it can be uh, very frustrating trying to learn something new.